All right, we're at 1056 North Tibbs here. Starting the outside, I want to show you where we are on Tibbs. This is a really busy street. There is no access to parking from this street, but there is access to parking in the back, which I'll show you. While we're outside here, I'll go ahead and show you uh, externally. We've got a little bit of deferred maintenance, some damage up here at the front that's gonna be need to be taken a look at. Um, it's hard to tell how much it is, uh, just really from the siding um, and what the condition of the wood is underneath there, but definitely wear and tear and damage over time. We wanna take a look at brick facade here up on the front. That's nice. The aluminum siding um, on the side over here is actually in pretty decent condition. We do have some overgrowth that's come up. I'm getting into the siding over here, a little bit on the side here, and again in the back. Here's where you can see the parking. Um, it's long enough where you get several cars uh, in here if necessary, so that's good. Little tiny metal shed here, not in the greatest in condition. Could use a nice little paint job. And then we've got, you know, the back side of the house here. We'll take a look over here. So you can see this side before we head into the house. Roof looks to be in pretty decent shape. There you go, you can see. Uh, nothing dramatic on that, some patchwork here and there, but structurally it looks to be decent. So not a huge red flag there. Inside the house, um, full cosmetic. It's got some pretty strong odors in there for sure, but um, it's a decent 3-1 uh, layout. Coming in this side door here, we come right straight in here to the kitchen. It's not a huge kitchen, but it's decent. Got a laundry set up over here, which is nice to have in these homes. So this wood floors up here, you could guess that there's probably wood floors throughout. Hard to say for sure. Don't know why they would put carpet down there. Maybe it wasn't in great condition. Windows, some of them are newer, but they're not in the greatest of shape. So definitely want to take a look at those. This front window is a double pane newer window as well, but as you can see, not in the greatest condition. The mechanicals here actually don't look too bad. They look actually like they've been maintained decently. Not too old either. Our full bath here, decent size, not a lot of storage. Well, I need to replace that vanity. Definitely new flooring, etc. All this carpet throughout here that you're gonna see is gonna to need to be replaced. It's disgusting, it's matted all the way down. I don't even know that there's uh, a, a, any kind of padding underneath it. This window's cracked over here. Structurally though, it feels good. It doesn't really feel like it's too bad. Um, I don't see any major issues. And then our third bedroom here. This one's quite small. Got this little extra room back here, I guess. Could uh, function as a office, storage, some extra little, you know, kids area, something like that. Not too bad. And then the door here that goes kind of a mudroom, I guess it goes out to the, um, uh, goes out to the backyard. So again, Full cosmetic for sure on this one. Um, I don't see any real huge structural issues inside. Some siding issues on the um, front of the house and a little bit on the sides, but nothing major. Uh, again, we are on tips here, but we've got the decent parking in the back. All right, so let us know what you think. Thanks.